Hello traders, so the title of the video is uh, Stochastic Trader is analyzing the British pound US dollar on the monthly chart. Alright, so on the monthly chart we can see that uh, the Stochastic uh, A33 is above 80, yeah, here it is, alright, above 80. And when the Stochastic A33 is above 80, it's pointing to us a resistance level, all right? It's also indicating to us that the bullish momentum is becoming strong, all right? These are the things that we need to understand when the Stochastic A33 is above 80, all right? So it's telling us the bullish momentum is increasing, but we are now at a resistance level. But if the price breaks above that resistance level, we can buy, though the stochastic is overbought. If you want to know more about how to trade the stochastic indicator, like a pro, go to www.stochastic-magdi.com. So as you can see, I'm on the monthly chart, the stochastic was overbought. If I put uh, two vertical lines, you can see here, it was overbought since then but it's still going up that's what we are talking about okay all right for, for the british pound us dollar was overbought pointing to us all this resistance level first resistance in the zone of uh, one three zero uh two five that's the black line here all right it breaks above it there were other resistance here in the zone of uh, one three two seven seven okay now it breaks above it now we are at uh, the level of uh, one Three five three four, which is the fifty percent Fibonacci retracement of uh, the price move. I'm on the monthly chart from here, okay, to here to where we are now here, this level here. So if you apply Fibonacci retracement to the price action from here, uh, which month is this? Uh, hold on, please. From the high. Of the month of June 2016, from the high of the month of June 2016, okay, uh, to the low of the month of October 2016, apply Fibonacci retracement. You see that we are now at the 50% Fibonacci retracement of that move down. All right, that's the resistance that the price, uh, the stochastic is indicating to us now, and we are also at the intersection point between uh, this uh, orange trend line. And that 50% uh, Fibonacci refreshment level is a hot spot trading zone. We are now at a hot spot trading zone. All right. So what we need to say to okay forex traders, what we need to say to British pound US dollar technical trader is that one should give a priority to bullish signal above one three five three four, and one should give priority to bearish signal below that level. But because we are on a monthly chart, the stochastic is above 80, indicating to us that the bullish momentum is strengthening. All right? Our first intention will be to buy, unless, repeat, unless the price fail uh, to break above that resistance at 13534. So, because we are on a monthly chart, this is a trading setup, a bullish trading setup, though the stock is overbought. We will go, we combine the monthly chart to the daily chart. So we go to the daily chart, we draw our channel, I already done it. The price is in a rising channel, as we will expect. So our signal, because we are now, you see, we are below one five one three, we are below that 50% uh, Fibonacci threshold level, 13534. <coughs> And also, so what we will prefer here, we will prefer it to break above, okay, that orange trend line and also that 50% level and uh, to come back, okay, and then to pull back and retest the media line, okay, or that 50% Fibonacci Trustman level somewhere in this zone, okay, before we will try to buy. That would be a better scenario especially for swing trading, all right? So, well, I need to remind traders that if one is trading for rice, it's not all about technical trading. We must always pay attention to the economy news relating to the British pound, US dollar, to the forex market. 
a combined was economy news with okay the technical trading very 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 important all right so if you are trading for eyes and you do not care about economy news my advice is that trade something else all right but if with the forex it's not easy to trade it without paying attention to the economy news so in a normal condition so the way it stands now it will be better to use a day trading strategy which means okay day trading looking for sell signal below 13534 if it breaks above it day trade it up to the orange line or even above it all right but if because the stochastic on a monthly chart is overbought pointing to as a resistance level 13534 but also indicating to us that the bullish momentum is, is strengthening but the only time that we can buy is when we have a trading signal so that bullish trading signal will be in the shape of a break above the orange line and retest the 50% Fibonacci retracement level or the median line of that daily chart. Now, if you are new trader listening to this video, watching this video, you need to be careful because we are talking here about a top-down trading method. If you do not know about the top-down trading method, you go to the 2-4 stock trader, digit 2, digit 4 stock trader, YouTube channel, and look for the playlist that we call Mastering Top-Down Trading Method, like a top a technical trader. If you are a new trader, swing trading, all right? Understand that the swing trading is not that easy. And to implement a top-down trading method, it's quite easy to understand it. But when you are trying to put it into practice, it's not that easy. It will take you some time, use a demo account, practice, practice, until you master it. Look for that playlist, Mastering Top-Down Trading Method, like a top technical traders, by 2-4 Stock Trader YouTube channel. And start working on your ability to trade the top-down trading method. So what we are seeing here, Stochastic is overbought. All right. If you want to sell, we want to only to look for bearish trading setup below 13534. If we see the trading setup, we will implement a different time frame trading method, a multiple time frame trading method, or a top down trading method. Okay? Do not just buy or sell because okay, because of uh, something has happened. All right. <laughs> but if because the stochastic on a monthly chart is above 80, indicating to us that uh, the bullish momentum is strengthening. If we have a bullish trading setup in the shape of breaky bull retest, here we will have a trade bullish trading setup. Then we'll implement a top down trading method. So when it pull back like this, it, it rally up to this point, pull back to retest, and start changing direction a bit. So two candlestick bar up here on the daily chart that will constitute our signal on the daily chart. If the signal is fired at that point in time, I'm choosing my word carefully, at that point in time, we'll go to the, all right, to the hourly time frame to enter our uh, swing trade. If you do not want to use the, the monthly chart, as, or if you do not want to enter the trade on the hourly time frame, or if you do not want to use the monthly chart as our trading setup, we'll use the signal, if the signal is in place here on the daily chart, we use that signal as a trading setup, okay, and then we go to the hourly time frame for the signal and we use the 10 minute time frame for the entry. So instead of entering the trade on the hourly time frame, we'll be entering the trade on the 10 minute time frame for swing trading purposes using the signal on the daily chart as a trading setup. All right, I will not dwell on it. If there is something you do not understand, it means that you have to go and check that playlist about the top down trading method that I've, I've already mentioned. All right. So this is what I want to mention to trader today. Talking about stochastic trader is analyzing the British pound US dollar on the monthly chart. You have to understand there is a lot of discussion going on regarding the British pound, the British sterling pound. Uh, this is something to do with. Uh, it has something to do with um, the Brexit. All right, the negotiations that are taking place right now. Uh, the separation, the United Kingdom coming out of the Eurozone. All right, so those discussions are making the this kind of a bit volatile. One day is up, another minute is down. So you cannot trade this currency pair without going to the forex factory, checking economy news, and also checking, okay, the general news that are relating to the Brexit negotiation. The negotiation are still taking place. 
in my view, in the long, talking about long term view for this currency pair, it's bullish, but we may see all kind of ups and downs due to the economy news before we may see a proper trend. By the end of the day, they will fix all the uncertainty relating to the British pound and the Brexit, and the British pound will be free to fly away when okay, the time has come. If you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section and of course I will be recording another video to answer your specific uh, trading okay, uh, question. So the mistake that we do not want to do like other traders are doing is that the stochastic is overboard, people are just selling, selling like a crazy forex trader. You don't want to do that. It's just that the moment the moment is increasing. doesn't mean that definitely it's going to go up, but we draw the line. It's pointing the resistance, as you can see, point the first resistance, the second resistance. Now we are here now. So the 50 percent probably Fibonacci resistance from here to here. Prior to bullish signal above, prior to bearish signal below. And with everything I've said, all right, now make excellent decision and pay attention to the economy news, whether you are day trading, swing trading, or position trading. All right. If you are day trading using the TSD number 24, all right, the setup and then the Okay, the first best stop frame. Okay, if you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section in due course. I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. All right, if you found this video totally, totally useful, give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, mark it down. Within this and essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, on Twitter, on Facebook, and also on Reddit. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the GSGW24 traders talking about stoch stochastic trader is analyzing the GBP USD on the monthly chart. Happy trading to you all and I will speak to you soon.